Utah. Despite an early beginning to the wildfire season, things are improving this month. Utah Division of Natural Resources reports fewer fire starts so far this month when compared to July the last two years. And firefighters have suppressed the majority of them within the first 24 hours. But even after the fire is out, the burned areas pose a risk. ABC4 Northern Utah correspondent Kate Gardner explains. The burned area left in the wake of a wildfire is called a burn scar. Basically, it's the destroyed or damaged vegetation after we have a grass fire or a forest fire. Rick Cooper says even after a fire is out, the burn scar can create its own problems. It does pose a risk of a flood or a flash flood coming off of that hillside. He says the potential risk increases depending on the type of burn scar. A cold burn scar is the result of a less intense fire that left some vegetation behind. Which lessens the uh, ability or lessens the risk of a mudslide or a flash flood coming off of those burn scars. The other type is a hot burn scar in which the intense fire leaves no vegetation behind. Cooper says when rain hits, it just simply washes off the mountainside and into people's backyards or on the roadways. He says the slope of a burned area and the amount of rain also play a big factor in how bad a flood will be. But he also says there are methods to help lessen flood risk. We can put up water bars, uh, we can put up straw bales, uh, straw rolls uh, to kind of catch that debris as it's coming down. Cooper says the best way to prevent flooding from a burn scar is to prevent human-caused fires in the first place. In Far West, Cade Garner, ABC4 News. Now, Cooper also telling us the recent Alaskan fire that burned in Ogden Canyon is a good example of a cold burn scar that poses some risk for flooding.